Welcome to On Cloud, the podcast for cloud professionals, where we break down the state of cloud computing today and how you can unleash the power of cloud for your enterprise. Welcome back to the On Cloud podcast. I'm Brian Campbell, Industry Advantage Leader and Strategy Partner at Deloitte. I lead our industry cloud business, and I'm your host for today's Knowledge Short episode. Today, we'll be diving into the world of industry clouds. What are industry clouds? The easiest way to think about it is these are industry solutions, which tends to often be the word that is used across the industry. When you think about the history of technology over the last 20 years, in particular cloud platforms, they've gone through an evolution from infrastructure as a service to platforms as a service, and ultimately to business outcomes as a service. And really the way that that last piece of the puzzle is being accomplished is by defining specific business problems, which when you think about the product, the commercial, the operation sides of many businesses, they're so unique to the industries they operate in, whether it be healthcare, banking, um, software development, oil and gas, that each of those different value chains needs to be uh, addressed in a way that the business outcomes of, of that industry are installed and supported. So the portfolio of these industry cloud solutions that are evolving and being served up across the market is expanding exponentially, um, particularly given today's environment and you know technologies like Gen AI that are increasing the pace at which these are developed. Some of what make them unique versus sort of historical solutions they're, they're business oriented, but industry specific. So again, the needs of a healthcare provider are very different than the needs of a commercial bank. And the different business processes across the value chain that are solved, automated, increased efficiency by applying technology to those different areas of the business. Um, are oriented towards those specific outcomes that that in that enterprise and that industry are looking for. So that's first and foremost. But more than that, they're modular in the sense that you can combine several of these together with some interplay between them to allow a greater degree of you know outcome and flexibility over time to continue to build and evolve on them. And then lastly, there's the ability to increase customization to drive differentiation for a different organization. So not just taking the industry standard, but customizing that in a way to create a unique set of differentiation or unique experience for your customers, your suppliers, your uh, employees, or, or other stakeholders that you are trying to serve. So that's industry clouds in a nutshell. What's currently going on in the market? So there's a lot of things that enterprises are getting right in this space. The leaders are really taking a holistic approach and strategy looking across their business to the areas that industry clouds can be applied and are going to have the greatest degree of return within those businesses versus getting stuck in the tens or even hundreds of proofs of concepts, which certain organizations have, you know, struggled with. So that holistic strategy is a starting point that we see the organizations that are getting the most value out of these technologies really starting with. And then within that, really defining where they want to differentiate across their business and making choices to spend their you know limited resources, both from a financial and from a human capital perspective, in terms of creating that differentiation on top of those industry clouds to be able to really serve up in a unique and compelling way to their customers, their suppliers, their various stakeholders. And then looking at the rest of the business, where they can adopt what exists out in the market that's going to allow them to create a greater degree of efficiency in a more compelling and, and scalable digital core is the remainder of that strategy and where they want to leave things as is. So again, leaders there are getting that right. And they're also bringing together business and technology to have this conversation and to, to implement on those strategies holistically. This isn't one side of the organization or the other. It's both, and both building, knowing that things will continue to evolve, and thus building for that flexibility and creating guardrails so that not just you know a small group within an organization, but the broader organization can continue to adopt and innovate on that base that's built 
utilizing these industry clouds. Um, some of the things that aren't always going right for certain organizations are looking at the world through the light of a single vendor. So when you think about the different players in this space that are serving up industry cloud solutions, it's the hyperscalers, software companies, global systems integrators, and a whole host of others that are bringing a lot of these um, industry clouds to bear across the market. And to get the most value out of a full portfolio, you do really need to look across that market to understand which are going to serve your needs best, which is going to build on the base that you currently have and are considering you know, expanding over time, as opposed to just through a single player. And the other that you know, some struggle with is you don't have to do all of this at once at the end of the day. Some organizations will go sort of area by area. And when I say area, it can be business functions. It can be you know business units. There's a couple of different ways to look at it, but dice, you know, splitting it up into bite-sized chunks for your organization and systematically working across, showing the value and showing the ROI over time is a pretty compelling way to create the type of transformation that this enables. But trying to do it all at once is often where a lot of organizations struggle. We've, we've done some surveying in this space and in terms of where organizations are seeing the most amount of benefit is, well, it is the increased innovation time. Over 60% of respondents to some of our surveying in this space place that as the top item where they're seeing the greatest degree of benefit. The ability to really apply technologies in a more compelling and like drive a greater degree of return was that second area. Um, over 45% of respondents um, said that was the number one benefit that they saw. And then to a lesser degree, but still important, it was a way to take advantage of cloud investments that many had made. And then looking at the way to connect in a more compelling way with both suppliers and customers, then ultimately accelerating the capacity to change were some of the other top areas that organizations were seeing value from industry clouds. From a challenge perspective, fear of control over data and insights was number one. Second was you know, a fear of lock-in on certain vendors, which to the point I made earlier is why it's so important to look holistically across the landscape as to what's available and what's going to best serve your business needs. And then a couple of other areas where lack of visibility into a regulatory and legal risks, the potential for some of the vendors that you choose to actually be competitors in certain spaces over time, and then ultimately confidence in the ability to product data across some of these solutions were all listed as some of the concerns in this space. So those continue to be things that, you know, unique to every organization need to be worked through. In terms of what's hot in the marketplace, the marketplaces themselves have actually really increased the pace at which adoption is taking place. So whether it be the hyperscalers or some of the ISV marketplaces that have been established and being able to serve those up and in certain cases even utilize contracts that you already have open with some of those players and even utilize some of the financial commitments you've made to them to purchase and ultimately deploy some of these Industry cloud solutions has become a real focus, particularly in the last 12 to 18 months of a lot of organizations as those have proliferated. And then be remiss to not mention Gen AI in this space. So many of these solutions are already taking advantage at scale of Gen AI technologies and applying um, to the various different business problems that they're trying to solve. So more and more that tends to be at the heart of many of the technologies that are being stitched together to ultimately solve the business problem that the solution has has been created to do. From a sector perspective, within the consumer industry, customer retention has been a huge area of focus and innovation. So loyalty solutions, customer experience solutions, both in physical spaces, retail stores, as well as online and the advent of next best action, some of the different solution areas in that space have been a huge area of both spend as well as innovation. As you sort of work across other industries within the energy resources and consumer industries, 
uh, a huge focus on sustainability and a number of different solutions there that are um, looking at all different types of sustainability, whether that be waste reduction, whether that be scope of mission, um, observation and optimization. There's a whole host of different innovations that have been coming out there and a pretty high degree of scale of, of spend as well. And then one or two others from the life sciences and healthcare industry, you know, particularly on the life sciences perspective, the R&D side of things, looking at clinical trials and the automation of data collection, the automation of some of the analysis, and even accelerating the speed to which clinical trials are done. And on the healthcare side, in particular, the patient experience and different aspects of how patients engage within and outside of a hospital are just a couple of different examples of areas where there's a huge degree of innovation and proliferation of industry cloud solutions. Where things are headed, a lot of technology companies are actually restructuring their businesses with an orientation around industry. It's just sort of foreshadows the continued expansion and almost explosion in the space of what you're likely to see over the coming years. And then the decrease in friction through which these solutions are served up to different enterprises um, will continue to go down. These, these marketplaces will improve. The automation of deployment and implementation um, will continue to increase. And the modularity and the ability to do that with you know, fewer resources and less technical depth, especially with many of the different sort of more technical Gen AI solutions that are helping to increase that pace, low-code, no-code kind of deployments are um, going to continue to be a real focus on the market. So a fantastic space to be looking at, especially, you know, at the intersection of business leadership and technology leadership, a huge way to think about really amplifying and maximizing the return on your technology investments and ultimately a place to take advantage of these technologies in the heart of your business. So. Thanks for listening to this week's Knowledge Short on Industry Clouds. If you enjoyed this podcast, please make sure to like us, rate us, and subscribe. You can check out our past episodes at DeloitteCloudPodcast.com, all one word. Uh, Feel free to also follow me on LinkedIn. If you're looking to learn more about Industry Clouds or more broadly, how technology is accelerating the pace of industries. And until next time, thanks for having me and stay safe, everyone. This podcast is produced by Deloitte. The views and opinions expressed by podcast speakers and guests are solely their own and do not reflect the opinions of Deloitte. This podcast provides general information only and is not intended to constitute advice or services of any kind. For additional information about Deloitte, go to Deloitte.com forward slash about.